Hi, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall learn about factor theorem in polynomials and we shall solve few numericals or sums based on this factor theorem. A very important chapter, polynomial, the concept is very important. In case of TET exam, even central TET, uh, GPSTR, HSTR, all these exams, okay, always there are questions from this concept polynomials okay so at the end of each video I have taken up the questions from the previous year question paper related to this uh, polynomials or each concept I have explained okay so before moving to the video if you are new to my channel do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of the videos we upload here which will be useful for your TET exams GPSTR HSTR exams and mainly of math and science concepts I take up here okay so already I have taken up enough topic uh, from physics part of related to GPSTR exam you can go to the playlist channel playlist and check out even maths videos are available okay so on continuing with this factor theorem what is factor theorem says about when a polynomial P of X is a polynomial is divided by X minus A so where x minus a is the divisor and this is the dividend right the given polynomial is the dividend and x minus a is the divisor when this is divided p of x is divided by x minus a then the remainder will be p of a okay p of a will be equal to 0 the remainder will be 0 then you can take x minus a is a factor of p of x okay so therefore if p of a is equal to 0 what is a whatever you have in this place of a you can substitute that value for p of a instead of x value you can substitute p of a here and that you can equate to 0 in simple term to say that whenever a polynomial is given and a divisor is given as x minus a you can just shift this a value to the other side you can take this x is equal to if it is minus a you can take as plus a just substitute the value of x as a value whatever given here okay so that will give you the solution for this and conversely if x minus a is a factor of p of x then p of a is equal to 0 you can say in this way also okay usually in this exam they may not ask for the definition of the theorems and all right so this is to know the theorem exactly and note the factor theorem is applied only when the polynomial p of x is divided by the linear polynomial of the form x minus a okay the divisor must be of x minus a form it must be of linear okay you should not have any square value cube value for this variable x okay here you will get a constant term it will be like this x minus 5 or x plus 6 it could be of this form just x and other form this x could be of different variable also it could be of y it could be of z no problem okay but depends on the polynomial in the polynomial if the variables are x you will get the divisor also x same way if the variables are y you will get the divisor variable also will be y okay and we have to note down here you see different forms how the divisor could be it could be of x minus a or x plus a then you will get this values of p of a p of a is equal to 0 you will substitute for this and if it is x plus a p a you are taking to the other side if suppose if you are equating so p of minus a for this a x minus b how to get the value of x suppose simple form to say is equal to 0 just imagine then a x is equal to b x is equal to b by a right if it is uh, a x minus b p of b by a is equal to 0 if it is a x plus b p of minus b by a is equal to 0 if it is of terms like this a x minus a into x minus b then you can solve this for the value of a and b you will get p of a is equal to 0 and p of b is equal to 0 for the remainder okay so you can go with of this type of sums on moving to the sums now use factor theorem to find whether g of x is a factor of the polynomial p of x or not 
so simple this is they will give a polynomial and a divisor okay polynomial is given p of x is equal to x cube minus 3 x square plus 6 x minus 20 and divisor is given as x minus 2 okay here i am not just uh, writing any explanation if it is in gpstr exam only they will ask you for the descriptive type they will expect the explanations also that i will show you in the following sums okay how to do it in a simple way just take the divisor divisor is x minus 2 right therefore what is the value of x you can consider this is in the form of x minus a divisor form so what is in a place a is equal to 2 so you can substitute the value of p of a will be equal to 0 you can substitute that if you substitute instead of a is equal to 2 then p of a will be equal to 0 therefore indirectly you can take that x value you are taking as 2 right so look at this x is equal to 2 you are substituting that is p of instead of x just 2 2 cube minus of 3 into 2 square plus 6 into 2 minus 20 and solving this you get p of 2 is equal to minus 12 so minus 12 is not equal to 0 p of 2 must be equal to 0 if it is equal to 0 only then the divisor is what is the divisor given here x minus 2 then only this is the factor of the given polynomial but here answer we did not get equal to 0 answer we got as minus 12 is the answer therefore g of x is not a factor of the polynomial p of x okay they have asked only to check it out whether it is a polynomial or not okay the, this kind of questions to check whether it is a polynomial or not will be asked in descriptive type gpstr exams only okay if it is question like this check whether g of x is equal to 3x minus 2 is the factor of p of x polynomial is given same like previous sum only right what is the value of um, x now we can substitute so here it is given divisor 3x minus 2 it is a binomial plus it's a linear factor right therefore x value we need to find out but you are comparing this value with a value but on solving this x value x value will be equal to 2 by 3 you will get okay so means you, you, you will divide this by both the sides divide two factors by 3 hence only you will get that is 3x by 3 minus 2 by 3 to make it simple 3 3 get cancelled you get x minus 2 by 3 and comparing this with x minus a what is in place of a a is 2 by 3 that's how we get actually but simple term you can just take as x is equal to 2 by 3 you're substituting that value here and on solving this you get answer as 0 therefore the given um, g of x value 3x minus 2 is a factor of p of x which is given here the polynomial okay simple just remember on substituting this value of x if you get answer is equal to 0 yes it is a factor if it is not equal to 0 then it is no it is not a factor that's it okay we shall now move to the next question find the value of a if x minus 5 is a factor of the polynomial is given a, a dividend okay so um, whenever you see that like this kind of sums okay it is of obviously multiple choice questions there will be some options answers will be given the value of a so here what is given x minus 5 factor therefore you compare this with x minus a the divisor therefore a is equal to 5 then p of a will be equal to 0 when you substitute this value of a to the given polynomial then you can equate that polynomial to this 0 the remainder is 0 right the factor therefore if you are substituting x is equal to 5 instead of x you are taking as a a is equal to 5 so simple you will just actually this is not the right method just shortcut x minus 5 therefore x is equal to 5 you can just take this as a substitute okay don't scratch your head much for this after substituting you are equating that to 0 and simplify that's it just to find the value of a here we get a is equal to minus 8 that is the value of a so if it is of multiple choice question you can just substitute and get the answer but if it is asked for discrete type um, in GPSTR exams you need to write all this considerations you made 
let us now check out with this sum for what value of a x plus 2 is the factor of a polynomial is given so we need to find the value of a therefore factor which is given is x plus 2 you can write like this let p of x is equal to whatever the polynomial is given just write that then by factor theorem x plus 2 is a factor of p of x if p of minus 2 is equal to 0 that is here you compare with this x minus a what is value of a a is equal to minus 2 right so therefore p of a p of minus 2 is equal to 0 then p of minus 2 is equal to then substitute for this which is equal to 0 for the given polynomial and hence you solve okay on solving you get the value of a is equal to minus 4 just they are asked to find the value of a it could be of any term a b c anything okay just to find out that so here is a similar question from this factor theorem x minus 2 is a factor of x cube minus a x square x plus x plus 2 then the value of a is so this question was asked in tet 2021 just to find the value of a here what is the factor which is given x minus c a divisor um, value itself is given as x minus a only therefore in a place we have a only that is in x place we are substituting a therefore here don't get confused wherever you find x just substitute a and doing that you get this equation then a cube a cube get cancels a plus 2 you get therefore a is equal to minus 2 so option 1 minus 2 is the correct answer option number 1 okay like this you can just choose within no time okay if it is for the multiple choice it is understood directly you substitute this for example if x minus 2 is the factor of the equation equation is given what is the value of p here they have given unknown term is p you have to find out p right so what is the factor which is given x minus 2 therefore x is equal to 2 directly you just take like this and substitute this for the given equation so in the exam um, question is already given even you can do this by mind calculation also if you substitute yes here to 2 cube is 8 8 2 is 16 okay first term then here x square that is 2 2 is 4 so minus 4 minus px 2 into p is 2p minus 2 is equal to 0 16 minus 4 is how much 12 12 minus 2 is 10 so 10 is equal to take 2p the other side minus 2p becomes plus 2p therefore p is equal to 10 by 2 10 by 2 is 5 option number 3 is the right answer so you can do it within no time this kind of this question was asked in TET 2016 okay so always as I told previous um, it there will be a question from this polynomial so I have covered almost almost main important questions from this polynomials in all the levels okay so you, this video will help you out with TET exams and the central TET if you want to appear for that also it will be helpful even for GPSTR exams and for HSTR exams so important types of questions I have covered so you know in mathematics they will change they will twist the questions you need to understand that and then just solve it that's it okay so I have broken up this um, chapter into four videos okay so if you watch this complete four videos without skipping I think you will be able to answer any questions which comes under this polynomial and I would like to tell you that um, after watching this video just please uh, give a comment or if you like uh, just express it okay if you whether you like it or you need any improvement you can just comment in the comment section and you want me to explain in Canada you can do that also okay so that I will make a separate video in Canada means um, the same similar kind of questions I will take up for one or two example questions in Canada and I explain that in Canada so that it will be easy for the aspirants those who are writing the exams in Canada okay and in the following video I shall continue with the science part okay few chapters important chapters I will take up and which will be helpful for HSTR and uh, meanwhile TET and GPSTR exams also okay so as you are waiting for the results most of you are getting confused whether to prepare for the exams or not HSTR okay so it is 
learning will not be a loss okay always i say that okay so join us let us learn that much i can say so learning will not be a loss okay so we shall continue in the next video if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up like okay thank you thank you for watching